morning, everyone. Greetings one from the Department of Computer Applications, Francis Xavier Engineering College. I welcome you all for this live webinar session by Mr. E. Arul Amalraj, Assistant Professor of MCA Department. Not by power, not by might, but by the Spirit of God. So, to begin with, let's all have a word of prayer. I request Mrs. Jasmine Mary to lead us on prayer. Prayer, all Almighty God, we thank you for this webinar session. Lord, bless the participants with the academic skills they require. Thank you for the desire that you have given the participants to join the session. Help each one to excel in their strengths and help them to gain more knowledge throughout this session. May your spirit guide us in all our endeavors. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. First of all, I would like to thank our Almighty God for this program. I thank our management, SCAD group of institutions, and Professor Planning and Development, Principal of Francis Xavier Engineering College, for their continuous support, motivation, and guidance for the webinar. I welcome our eminent resource person, Mr. A. Arulamal Raj, Assistant Professor of our department, for his uh, informative knowledge sharing. I extend my hearty welcome to the participants from various colleges, industries, and also from FX Engineering College. Once again, I welcome you all for this webinar, Latest Trends in Augmented Reality, organized by the Department of Computer Applications, Francis Xavier Engineering College. Now, I request Mrs. J. Abel and Luther to introduce our eminent resource person. There is no impossible where there is faith and determination. It is a great privilege for me to introduce the determined resource person, Mr. A. Arul Amalraj, Assistant Professor in the Department of Computer Application, who is a renowned person for his simple and hardworking. He has completed his UG degree in St. Xavier's College, Tenal Valley, in the year 2001, and PG MCA degree in MS University in the year 2004, and ME degree in Dharna University in the year 2013. He has been in the teaching profession since 2008. He has published many articles in the journals and conferences. He has been assigned as overall system admin for the college. It is a great thing to have such an eminent person among us as a resource person. Thank you once again. Now, over to Mr. Yarulam. Good morning, all of you. First of all, I would like to thank the Almighty for providing me this opportunity to say my views through this webinar, views in augmented reality. Next, I thank the management for providing this opportunity. Next, I thank the head of the department, MCA, this is the Angel in Germany, and colleagues for their encouragement and support. Just, um, let us begin with the story. Just imagine you are walking on the road. It goes through uh, jungle. After a jungle, a very good place like Eden Garden in the Bible. Everything available. There is no pain, no work, no sorrows, no enemy, and no fear. Everything is good, always happy, but suddenly road disappears. There is a dangerous uh, darkness around you. You don't know what to do, where to go. What will you do in, the, in this situation? Let us all give our uh, commands in the chat box. The answer is come out of your imagination. Initially, I told, just imagine. Okay, now let us see. I will present the presentation. Okay, what is imagination? Digital money, it is uh, like a digital money. You see, all of you, we are uh, transferring the amount from one account to another account. How it is happened? All just like the virtual money is transferred one place to another place. There is no hard or no proof for that. 
there is a message is uh, coming to coming as a proof this transfer or the money is account is credited or, or debited like that that is a imagination likewise what is reality we always live in a imagination what is the expectation of uh, this uh, what is the expectation of you about the admina see i think um, i i will take the admina in very efficient way all will get benefit from that you may think that is uh, how the resource person will handle the sessions um, is there any possibility to get knowledge like that you may think like this so always we will live in the imagination only okay now what are all the topics we are going to discuss today you see cui that is character user interface these are all the things just we can see very small uh, things we know something about character user interface and the graphical user interface 2d shapes basic shapes of uh, for argument reality classification of polygons 3d shapes destroying complex structures virtual reality augmented reality and difference between virtual reality and augmented reality uses of augmented reality and uh, examples these are all the components we are uh, going to discuss and uh, understand what is what character user interface all you know this is the basic in uh, computer development that is first uh, the operating system that is you may all know that is a uh, disk operating system dos is the first operating system that is um, based on character user interface and uh, before that there is a basic language or unix all those things are there but this operating system is a basic idea you can learn from uh, character user interface there is a interface what is interface there is a bridge between two different objects or there is a bridge between the machine and the human being that is the interface you see you are all linked together that is i am handling the class or i am taking the class you are, people are listening that is uh, there is a link that is internet and the youtube channel is linking you and me there is an interface only characters and the syntax is important in character user interface the words combination of characters and also in a 14 inch crt monitor in the olden days that is a black and white stage 24 rows and 80 columns or characters can display in a particular screen that is the situation that that is in 1996 or 98 on that stage now we are all using graphical user interface you see images no need of syntax if you want to copy a file you can just select that file and right click it copy or control c you can give it automatically copy and wherever we want we can paste that this is a advancement in graphical user interface pixel it's a basic building block in graphics how to uh, say a picture is uh, how to design an image all combined together the basic idea is pixel small dot roughly we can say 1 by 96 inch 
there is within one inch of space there is a single dot that is a measurement picture or you can say 0 0.26 millimeters <coughs> there is a roughly you can say resolution if you have number of pixels in an image that shows the resolution ppi means dots per inch particular inch of space how many dots are available it decides or it depends on the pixel size that is uh, dpi see in the same way if the dpi is increased the increase the dpi the clarity of the image increased and also the size increases if you see a good quality picture in the computer or in the mobile camera mobile it occupies more space you see 5 megapixel we are calling it as 12 megapixel 2 megapixel based on the capacity of that particular camera the image size increases that is in the same way decrease dpa the clarity of the image decreases and also the size decreases all you all know how the how to increase the quality of a particular image that that is coming under the dpa you see <clears throat> two dimensional shapes you are taking all the images photographs you can say it's in two dimensional height and width or length and width a flat surface that is two we can say a rectangle or square or uh, <clears throat> any shape you see the programming language c or c plus plus you can create a 2d image c using c program you can write a coding for loop or uh, any other coding to draw a shape and move that shape that is we can animate the 2d image how to run a particular move one place to another place all those things are coming under 2d the basic 2d shapes are rectangle or square if the size all the four sizes that is a particular page you can say all the sides of that particular image is equal means that is square if any one of the length or breadth anything is uh, different that is uh, two sides are same and the two sides are in the same means we can call it as rectangle in the same way circle and oval that is in the space that is a uh, radius is equal in all the places from center point to the outer portion that is called circle if it is differs that is oval in the same way triangle there are uh, so many triangles are available one is uh, equal equal place uh, all the sides are in equal the angles also equal means there is uh, one type of triangle the same way polygons, different sides, there is a difficult, uh, you can say, five sides, minimum of three sides or more than three sides available means it is called as polygon. You can see the basic shape for augment reality is triangle. Triangle is used to represent all the shapes. From the triangle, you can draw any shape polygon a plain figure with at least three straight sides and angles and typically five or more that is minimum of five uh, uh, straight sides is available means you can call it as polygon and also there is there are classify classifications are available you see triangle a polygon with three sides you can say triangle quadrilateral that is a polygon with four sides 
pentagon that is polygon with five sides hexagon a polygon with six sides means we call it as hexagon heptagon a polygon with seven sides likewise up to decagon a polygon with 10 sides after that there is no 11 there is no name for 11 gun we can simply call it as there is a number of sides that is 11 adding with gun okay long gun a polygon with 11 sides the same way two decan means there is 12 sides a polygon with 12 sides we can call it as two decan okay see how many triangles form using diagonal and makes up their polygon in a regular hexagon four triangles can be created using diagonals of the hexagon from a common vertex since the interior angles of each triangle totals 180 you see triangle means the interior angles that is uh, we can accumulate that is sum of all the angles totally it will come 180 the hexagons interior angles will total that is 4 into 180 that is 720 angles uh, that is will call it as that is a hexagon four straight sides are there different angles are four angles are there we can multiply it with uh, thousand uh, sorry 180 it will come 720 you can see the regular and irregular hexagon using the four triangles combination of four triangles how it will it shows or it uh, appears you can say uh, example formula for a polygon how to frame a polygon or how to draw a polygon with uh, different sides we can simply put it as a formula Digagon, that is Digagon means 10 sides. How it comes? 10 sides, that is 180, 10 minus 2 sides, to equal to 180 in the 8, it will uh, come around 1440 degree. That is how many? That is the sum of angle. You can see the another one example for uh, calculating the polygon. Set the formula equal to uh, 1080 to solve for n. How many number of sides are available? How to identify the size of the polygon? That is sides of the polygon. You can see 180 into n minus 2. That is already we you know that 1080. You can uh, Calculate the value, we get the result n equal to 8. That means totally 8 straight sides. That means octagon. We can get the octagon. Next is three dimensional shape. We already see 2D, this two dimension length and breadth, or height, uh, that is height and width you can say now length width or height width and depth how depth it is you can say depth or you can length breadth and height okay this is three dimensional now we are going to image types how many types of images are there there are so many types that is JPG and the GIF file, PNG file, a bitmap image, and so many types are there. Now, in our augmented reality, we are going to see only two images. That is JPG, Joint Photographic Expert Groups, Experts Group. There are 16 million in three colors. What are all the three colors? RGP or CMYK. RGP means red, green, 
globe. So this here we see another type of the type cyan, yellow, magenta, here we see. Okay, like that uh, the images are there. And another one image type is PNG, portable network graphics. Transparent images separate in different particles. What's the difference in JPG and PNG means? JPG we can we cannot uh, separate it into different particles, and, and also there is no transparency. If it is a JPEG JPEG file, you are copying and pasting in some other place. It won't merge with that background. We want to do some additional work to merge with that background. In PNG format, it automatically, it is in the transparent image, we can uh, place it in anywhere, any background, it adopt that particular background as its PNG background. And also we can separate in different particles, we can uh, ungroup that PNG image, there are different layers or different parts are there. We can remove those parts and we can add or we can change some of the parts and we can go wherever we want like that. There is a difference in PNG format. Now we can see the types of reality, extended reality and virtual reality, mixed reality and augmented reality. The extended reality, real and virtual environment. We are extending the real environment into virtual environment. Virtual, all you know, it is not real, but it is like real. You see, if you walk on, on the road or traveling on the road, in some of the places in far away, there is a in, water available like that it will reflect in the road if you go there it automatically moves some other place in so far in like that it will move but there is no water available in the road that is called virtual environment virtual reality the human machine interactions generated by programs or wearable devices we can see in the next uh, virtual reality, we will wear one device. It will create an imagination or a, a real uh, environment where we want to see. You see the virtual reality to create a simulated environment. Simulated. It is not available. It is available in real, but the device will create an environment to environment based on the simulation unlike traditional user interfaces the places uh, the user inside and experience if you want to see Taj Mahal during this lockdown period we can see through that virtual reality that virtual reality software will stimulate like that environment where the Taj Mahal is available. If we are go inside that Taj uh, Mahal, how it will look like? All the environment will be provided by the software. That is a simulation. Users are immersed. That is involved also deeply in the particular activity. You are all involving the minar with the wholeheartedly accepted and you are listening. That is a uh, immersed and able to interact with 3D worlds, 3D, 3 dimensional, how it looks like height and width and uh, depth. This is virtual reality. The next one is mixed reality. What is mixed reality? Both extended and virtual combined together. You can call it as mixed reality. Then, this is the main important part of this webinar, augmented reality. 
what is augmented reality? An interactive experience. The previous two, there is no interaction, just a simulation. The real world environment will be simulated and we are experiencing the particular place. But in augmented reality, we are interacting with that particular object or particular place, the real world environment, the object that resides in the real world, enhanced by computer generator perceptual information, sensory modalities, visual, auditory, haptic, everything, all the activities combined together, it is more interactive. Haptic relating to the sense of touch in a particular place, what are all the objects available, you can touch and you can identify that perfection is more important in the augmented reality. It is uh, smart and sensory relating to or denoting the sensation such as pressure, pain and bond. If you see in the 3D game or any other video games, the shooting game, you can see if a bullet from the a particular place, it automatically burns or it automatically gives some action or reaction. That is, we can give some pressure or pain or we can identify the place where we are. If it is in the Himachal Pradesh, we can identify the cold, how much it is uh, cooler than the normal place. Okay, This is augmented reality. Now we can see a real-time example of a visiting card. How it is this uh, look like in a 3D augmented reality format. See? Through this glass, there is only one equipment we are using. That glass, you can see the inner parts of the particular part, what are the things available. Everything is shown in the bigger format, 3D format. See, what is the difference between augmented reality and virtual reality? All you know, virtual reality that is simulation, that is some immerseness experience that sets out of the physical world. Physically, we are in a particular place, but we are getting the experience of the other place. But in augmented reality, there is an interactive. That is, we can using the smartphone or any other media, you can directly situated in the particular place where itself. You can identify the sound and all other related experience. Now we can see step by step how to create or how to design a augmented reality image. First we can imagine. Imagine means in the first slide itself during the start, beginning of the webinar, I already told, imagine. You can imagine where we are, or how to create an image. It looks like in a particular object or any color, whatever it is, you can imagine. After that, you can create. It is all like just we can think and talk or think and do a particular work. Like that, you can imagine the object or a particular human being or anything. After that, you can create. Then, repeat. 
it can give the measurement how to move, where it is available, everything. So and then animates how to move the steps, the step by step movements, animates. Not only animate the particular image, and also you can animate in and around. That is in the 3D format. Okay. Then design. You can design it accordingly. You can see one by one. Imagine means the form of new images and the sensations that are not received through the five physical sense. So this imagine means the sixth sense. The so human being only imagine, we can think and we can do the operations. Create. This is also we can create, bring into existence. You can imagine something, how to create it. What do you imagine? You can create it in the form of existence. Then rigging a device or a piece of equipment designed for a particular purpose. It is, it is a glass is created for what? You can see the uh, glass tumbler. It is used for bringing water or you can keep it something in the particular place. Like that. Animate. How to animate? How to act? Nowadays there are so many apps are there. You can dance or you can, your images can be added in that particular image. Combined together, you can animate with a dance. Okay. Design interactive animations for games, TV shows, and the web. Then design. All the four steps completed, we can design. A design is a plan or specification for the construction of an object. It is look like a building of a house or building. A hospital or hotel or anything. First we have to draw the blue print or draw the sketch. After that we can put it in the AutoCAD or some softwares, make it as a 3D form. After that, nowadays we can make it in the augmented reality through which we can where we place the sofas or where we place some of the products in a particular place. Everything we can plan accordingly. There is a plan or specification in the form of a prototype, product or process. Then it is including furniture, lighting, fashion, industrial design, cars, bicycles, and graphics. Everything. Everything where we can place it. If it is in portico, the size of the particular car can be measured and it is possible to place the car in the particular portico or it needs any space, additional space. How much space is available? Is it possible to go with that? Everything is we can measure. You can see the uses of augmented reality. What are all the fields it is available? Nowadays all the fields, you can, for example, we can see 10 fields. This first one is medical training, Retail, repair and maintenance, design and modeling, and business logistics. Now, the tourism and industry, classroom education, field service, entertainment, and public safety. You see one by one how the medical training is given. We are seeing the heart in the particular book. Through the smartphone, we are scanning it. In that smartphone, we are implementing the augmented reality. Each and every part of the particular part is seated. You see, you see the inner part of the particular image. This is only through the augmented reality. You see, each and every 
part of that part is visible now. This is the medical training you can give in the real time environment. The heart, how it looks like. The parts of the heart is explained in that particular model. Now you see the next level that is retail shops. How the retail shops are? Visualize the future of today's technology being used to interact with the customer throughout their day. We have never been closer to being able to seamlessly integrate technology into one's lifestyle to enhance the customer experience. Innovations such as smart appliances collect useful data with the help of various wearable and handheld devices to autonomously flow data throughout the tech ecosystem. Today's consumers are seeking ways for their technology to simplify their lives and help them be more productive. Millions of customers are already tracking their personal biometric health and wellness data and actively seeking ways to use this information to live longer, healthier, and more fulfilling lives. Real-time data flow creates clarity for the customer, enhances safety, improves cost efficiency, and helps select products the customer needs. All while an intuitive retailing system can simultaneously collect, aggregate, and analyze useful data for each individual store giving Loblaws the essential information to connect to its customers' day-to-day -day needs. The in-store experience can be designed to not only make shopping more streamlined, but also provide a shopping experience as unique as each shopper. This data works within an intelligent system to provide our customers with useful information in real time, and each experience is customized to suit the individual's needs. We're at a point in technology where we're seeing the highest level of measurable improvements in health and well-being as a result of consumer-grade health and wellness technology. The consumer feels empowered to make the right choices, saving both time and money in the process, leaving customers more time for what matters. Visualize the future. See, this is the advancement in the retail shops. We can measure each and every activity, each and every product. We can compare the product very easily. All those things are coming this retail augmented reality. Perlaskar and SPP are proud to present a new augmented reality pump maintenance and training app for iPad and Android devices. Augmented reality brings instructions out of the paper manual and directly onto real equipment. Like an instructor standing right next to the equipment, the app highlights the exact bolt to unscrew or place to pry with the screwdriver to avoid damage. The augmented reality eliminates any confusion between the manual and the real equipment. New personnel can quickly learn maintenance procedures correctly the first time. Step-by-step walkthroughs show procedures both with augmented reality overlays and full 3D models that can be rotated to view from any angle. The 3D model walkthroughs can also be used off-site for later review. The walkthrough procedures provide guidance for the most common installation and maintenance needs of your pump. On through stream pumps, this includes complete disassembly to replace bearings or reverse the pump rotation. For initial installation or later repairs, the motor alignment guide illustrates how to correctly couple the motor and pump shafts using shims if necessary to hone alignment. On DB and KPD model pumps, a full disassembly walkthrough illustrates the steps needed to replace the bearings or impeller. The 
Packing replacement procedure illustrates how to remove packing rings with a removal tool through the side opening of the pump. Parts and maintenance watch points can be shown with x-ray vision and cutaway views. Real part size, location, and orientation are easy to see just as they are inside the equipment. Pump operation and, importantly, the impeller rotation direction are also shown. Perlascar and SPP are committed to bringing customers the latest technology in both pumping systems and supporting tools. Then the design and modeling of a particular place, how it is designed, how the furnitures are fit in a particular place. See how the bedrooms are available, attached to bathrooms and everything. The whole building, that is house or the office, whatever it is, how to place. Everything is in a perfect manner. This is the advancement of augmented reality.
creatures. Education system is advanced in the use of uh, augmented reality. Then field surveys. What if Emerson technicians didn't have to physically bring an expert to your plant every time they encounter a service situation that they aren't familiar with? What if experts could see what the technicians see? give step-by-step -step text and audio instructions to guide them through a complicated repair? What if the right information and context could be delivered to Emerson technicians by entering basic equipment information? This all becomes possible with Emerson's remote assistance program. Remote assistance allows Emerson technicians to immediately bring Emerson subject matter experts virtually to a customer site, utilizing augmented reality to help address complex issues. To put it simply, the subject matter expert sees exactly what the requesting technician sees and provides step-by-step -step instructions overlaid in the technician's field of view to help them solve the problem safely, efficiently, and correctly. Whether it's repairing a non-Emerson isolation valve or calibrating an ODV assembly, remote assistance increases the capabilities of every Emerson technician in the field and in our service centers. 
To make the solution even more powerful, each time an expert engagement occurs, the video content is saved and can be used during future services. As the repository of content grows, the solution becomes the greatest library for valve repair in the world. Remote assistance is more than FaceTime or Skype. It's a sophisticated solution that will ensure that each Emerson technician performs expert level work. The efficiencies and capabilities enabled by remote assistance gives you the assurance that any valve problem you face can be solved with the safety, quality, and reliability that you expect from Emerson. the hologram. It's also a physical recording of an interference atom which uses differentiation to so reproduce the three-dimensional light field. You see the hologram is used to do some of the movies and also the augmented reality also used. You can see Avatar that is a three-dimensional 3D movie and also in uh, Tamil movie Kathi, they are uh, showing the humans inside the waterfalls. That's also used to the hologram technology. These are all the things. You see in the next slide, having some of the examples. There are so many apps are available. Few examples are uh, given in this slide. Okay. Thank you for all your patient listening. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Thank you, Amal Raj sir, for your wonderful presentation. Hope so it will be beneficial for the participants. Thank you so much, sir. Now I request Mrs. C. Mahadevi, Assistant Professor of MCA Department, to propose the vote of time. Hope this session will be very useful for you all. I thank our Almighty God for the successful completion of this webinar. I thank our management, SCAD group of institution, professor planning and development and principal for their support. I thank all the participants from various colleges and the participants from our college. I thank the resource person Mr. A. Arul Amalraj, assistant professor of MCA for his invaluable knowledge sharing. I thank our Hachodi and the faculty members of our department for materializing this webinar. 
Finally, I thank all the participants from various colleges for their valuable presence. Once again, I thank you all.